I feel fantastic. And I have Glenn Burkett to thank. So I reverse the process mm -hmm. of this disease by yes, just taking the natural products. Right. I can't say enough. It's just wonderful because now I don't have this pain and I have, as of the other day, I canceled my knee surgery. Hello, I'm Glenn Burkett. Thanks for joining me today. And I'm here to educate you because that's what I am. I'm a natural health educator. And what you need to realize is you need to take responsibility and understand that you are responsible for health care and doctors are responsible for medical care. And health care comes on a plate. And it comes by you starting as you're going to the grocery store of picking the right foods to nourish you and your family. It's all about nourishment. You're not just feeding your family, you're nourishing your family. So that's what I want to educate you about. Now you can go onto my website and see all these videos on there talking about cancer, blood pressure, cholesterol, weight loss, diabetes, arthritis, allergies, sinus problems, on and on and on, because I can cover it all for you in a natural way. So thanks for joining me today, and we're getting ready to talk about weight loss, diabetes, cancer, blood pressure, and everything you can think of for your own personal health. Hello, I'm Glenn Burkett. Thanks for joining me today. And I have a testimony today from Carolyn Ed, and it's going to talk more about preventive health and wellness. And that's what I specialize in. And I um, can help you as well. And this is how you're going to find out by listening to testimonies you're about to hear about. Okay, Carol, why don't you give, a, an, uh, give us an idea of what took place and then uh, in the beginning and how you suffered for, for years and where you ended up uh, okay. getting well. Well, about 20 years ago, I had a hysterectomy, and just shortly after that, months after that, I developed a urinary tract infection, which I never had previously. And as it continued, it seemed as life went on, every three months, I would get this urinary tract infection. Of course, my doctor would put me on uh, an antibiotic, and it would clear up the problem, go away in a week, 10 days. Mm -hmm. And again, a month, two months would go by, maybe three if I was lucky, another urinary tract infection. This has been going on for years and years and years. How many years would you say total? I'd say at least 20. Yeah, that's a long time years, to long suffer time. like that. Mm -hmm. So you kept seeking medical attention. Right, and my, my doctor, my gynecologist couldn't help me while well, she had prescribed a couple of various hormone creams, all of which I ended up being sensitive to couldn't use them. They referred to um, the Cleveland Clinic also, and she went up there and saw a, urinary, a female urinary tract infection person. And um, once again, you know, just the antibiotic therapy is the way they went. I had been on Cipro, and he said, well, Cipro, those are big guns. He said, mm -hmm. we're going to put you on something milder, and he put me on Macrobid. So I've been on that probably for the past five or six years. And again, it's just the same thing over and over and over again. And in July of this year, 2010, I had some blood work done, and it came back very bad. Now, where were you going for this blood work and testing? Well, I've been having a, I have a cholesterol problem. Mm -hmm. So they check me every six months because I'm on a cholesterol medication. Mm -hmm. So they want to, you know, we're keep track of right, track uh, of my liver. Yeah. Okay, so through my physician, mm -hmm. you know, I, I would have my blood work done every six months mm -hmm. and um, to monitor how my system was handling the uh, provostatin, which was the cholesterol yeah. medication. And you know, I was I'm against taking. those totally. Well, anyway, when I got my <laughs> blood work back, he, I went in to get the results and he, he sat me down and he said, I, I am really concerned about your blood work. And I said, really? And he said, it's, yes. He said, sit down, we're going to talk about it. And um, my cholesterol wasn't any better, even though I was on the medication. But my blood sugar, my glucose, was at 197. My goodness. Which was indicative of diabetes. Mm -hmm. And he said, um, but that's not even what I'm worried about. He said, your liver enzymes are three times normal. Mm. I can't tell you what the numbers were. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. But he said, your liver. This he is said, not this, is, this is not good. He said, yeah. this is not good at all. And he immediately wanted to send me for some ultras, not ultrasounds, but 
you know, some sort of a test for mm -hmm. my, my liver, my kidneys, my spleen. And I said, just hold it a minute. I said, maybe there was a mistake. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe there was a laboratory mistake. Sure. It's possible. Well, there wasn't. There wasn't a mistake. And, you know, if I get a headache occasionally. I'll take an Advil, take a leave. And I had been sick. I had a body body aches, and so I was taking Advil and a leave. And mm -hmm. he said, "Well, they could be somewhat responsible, but mm -hmm. three times your normal." Yeah. So I said, "Okay, well, I'm not going to take anything." He said, "I'm I'm going to take you off your cholesterol medication for now. I want to wait a month. Okay. Have you come back and let's check these numbers?" Which is what I did. Thirty days. Cholesterol was the same. Blood sugar was the same. Liver enzymes were down a, a, a slight amount, but nothing significant. All right, so that was uh, August. In September, we came down to Naples to visit our children, and I happened to be watching television one morning, and I saw your ad. And you talked a lot about detox, and I'm thinking, boy, my liver mm -hmm. could possibly help my liver. That day, I started with a urinary tract infection. Mm. So I always travel with my macrobid. Mm -hmm. I started my dosage. A couple hours later, I came in to see you. We sat down and we talked 15, 20 minutes. And you said, I, I think I can help you, Carol. I think, I, I think you have candida. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a fungus infection. Mm -hmm. And these antibiotics are funguses. They're molds, they're from molds. Well, the antibiotics so, are causing it kills off your good bacteria, so you have no good bacteria to keep the bad guys in check, which right. is the candida. Right. Yeah, virus, uh, which is a candida yeast fungus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I took your <clears throat> advice, and you said to me, I am going to give you a dose of the silver right now. Do not take any more antibiotics. And I was scared. If you choose to. You know, I thought, <laughs> how I can I, take you, you know, no, but I thought, how can I not take my antibiotic? I've got this mm -hmm. full-blown infection. Mm -hmm. And I'm miserable. And you've been doing this the for The side years. effects are awful. Yeah. And I'm going to take a dose of, of this. And I, well, I said to my husband, yeah, I'm going to go knows. with it. I have I nothing to knows. lose. You were very supportive. Thank you. He was that. very supportive. And I'm so happy to say I started on it. I never went back. I never took an antibiotic. Now, I mean, last it, week. It was really amazing. Uh, I mean, Carol had the infection took one antibiotic and normally she'd take them for a week and she started on the the silver and the other um, total cleanse total the cleanse and bacteria the good probiotic. bacteria okay. and oh by that evening Carol was feeling better and by the next day she said I just can't believe it but she said I think this is going away honestly and I within a few it. days I mean it was just uh, you, you know if you want to say a miracle or whatever but um, Carol was feeling better so you know, we are, you know, very happy about that and thanks to Glenn. In Fort Myers, in the South Plaza Shopping Center at the intersection of Colonial and Cleveland Avenue. In Naples, as you face Bed Bath & Beyond, Glenn Briquette is in the far right corner of the shopping center, next to the chiropractor, down by Skillets.